this is your last meal, you're not gonna be mad about it. Sue. Carlos is out here spitting on grave. Oh my. We're gonna get haunted so bad. <laughs> Today, we're going to be trying and rating the last meals of some legendary celebrities. Yeah. You're Wow. See, that's why I eat at every Try Not To Eat challenge. <laughs> oh, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, she, I think she OD'd, didn't she? Well, or the Kennedys killed her. Marilyn Monroe was an actress, model, and singer, and was considered one of the most popular sex symbols in the 50s and early 60s. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, throughout her life, she struggled with mood disorders and addiction, which led to her eventual overdose in 1962 in her Los Angeles home. Okay, interesting. It looks like mushrooms and meatballs. Reports say that her last meal was as luxurious as Marilyn herself. It consisted of stuffed mushrooms, meatballs, and champagne. That's very Hollywood, and also like gives me like room service vibes. This is a very fancy meal to make for yourself, mm -hmm. I feel like. What a strange hankering. I love a good stuffed mush. Anything pairs well with champagne. That's mm. my drink of choice. Mm -hmm. Damn, she was making all the right choices. I mean. I mean, to a certain extent. All right, I'm dead. All right, stop. Well, she, she dead. dead. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like a weird mix of things to me. On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being your favorite, what would you rate this and why? I'm gonna go an eight. I was also thinking an eight. This is a 10. This is a 10 too for me, yeah. I'm a re like, this is way better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just give it like a middle, like five. It's very classy. Mm hmm. I'm gonna give this a six. Hmm? Chug it. You said chug it? What? See, I'm not gonna be outdone. I. Oh, I didn't like that. I'm so full of carbonation right now. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. <gasps> There's my man, EP. The king. Elvis Presley, ugh. Elvis Presley, or the king of rock and roll, is one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century. However, towards the end of his career, his fondness for decadent sweets and fried foods are rumored to be his undoing. Ooh, that'll do it for you. Died taking a dump. Is that or true? Or trying to take is a dump. Is that true? Did he die on the toilet? He did. You're telling us that we're gonna eat the meal that he was passing out when he died. Cookies! And ice, ice cream. cream. Yo, dude. Well, most people assume his favorite sandwich made with fried peanut butter, bacon, and bananas was his last meal. It was actually four scoops of ice cream with six chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, this is like too much already. This is delicious, but also I'm not like a sweets type of person. Me neither, but I'm enjoying this. This is your last meal. You're not gonna be mad about it. For me, it's either cookies or ice cream. Hmm. Good enough for the king, it's good enough for me. <laughs> even if it killed him. I'm gonna roll with a 10 on this. It's just like, not me, it's too sweet, it's like too much, exactly. nine out of 10. I would also rank this a 10. Think about this, like shoving it <laughs> over the toy, just trying to push all this out, it's just not, that does not sound like fun. Having nope, said nope. that, eight out of 10. I see, I would agree with him, eight out of 10. For me, this is like a, like a three. <gasps> Princess Diana. Royalty. <laughs> princess Diana, or the People's Princess, had recently divorced and started a new relationship with Dodie Fayed. He'd wanted to take her to Benoit Paris, where he was planning on proposing, but a swarm of paparazzi got in the way, so they switched gears and ended up ordering room service at the Paris Ritz Hotel before the high speed car chase that ended her life. Dang, I didn't know all that. Like, that sucks. The tough freaking timing, man. This would not have been the meal I would have gotten at room service right there. <laughs> Their final meal consisted of Dover sole, vegetable tempura, and a mushroom and asparagus omelet. That is okay. random. What an yeah. interesting combination of foods. Well, this is like a proper like meal meal. So this feels like breakfast. Ooh, this is seasoned very well. Oh my God, that feels good. I mean, it looks really good. <laughs> Just eating away. I'm gonna go with an eight. This is a nice, solid meal. I'm sorry, I can give this like a four. <laughs> It was like a seven. As a meal. I'm actually with you. I'm yeah, like, right? Exactly for us. See, <clears throat> an eight also, but just because this is like a proper meal. I'm gonna also agree that it's a seven. It's not wowing me, you mm. know? We're gonna get haunted so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Child. Why would she? I don't really know that much about her. Beloved chef Julia Child brought the world of French cooking to America with her classic cookbook, The Art of French Cooking. She was notorious for her love and use of butter. Oh yeah. <gasps> Is this French onion soup? It is perhaps fitting that her last meal was rumored to be a bowl of French onion soup. The one version of wet bread that is actually amazing. You gotta get a little of the cheese, the crouton. It's pretty soft for an old, right, right, old right. bird. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, yo. 
It's just boring. It's like, just soup. No respect for the dad. I'm sorry. Actually, my first time ever having French onion soup. I, I do don't. like it though. I do like it. Oh my god. It's a very <laughs> lilting voice. Julia Child. My cheese that has been melted on the top. Still, it's just soup. Carlos is out here spitting on grave. Oh my. <laughs> it's a good way to go out. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know what to say. I'd probably give it like an eight. I think this is good. Oh, I'd, I'd probably just give this a five. But this is another 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I'm gonna go with a 10 on this. 10. Can we yeah, oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. No one's gonna be mad about this. Nobody's gonna be mad about this. Uh, Kurt Cobain. Oh, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain was the notorious frontman for the 90s rock band Nirvana. Tragically, after a history of drug and alcohol abuse as well as mental illness, Kurt died by suicide at the age of 27. 27? So I'm sorry, I'm like, but like now I'm morbidly curious. Pepsi. I can smell it. <gasps> and a cigarette. <laughs> you hooking us up today. You see what that? are you hooking us up? It's suspected that the actual last thing he consumed was a can of his favorite Barks root beer and a pack of Camel Light cigarettes. First of all, that part, no. <laughs> Ew. I, root beer and cigarettes are not a combination I've ever thought no. of before. Uh -uh. Barks is the best root beer, so. <laughs> True. It's some good taste. Actually, yeah. Oh yeah, it smells like root beer. Uh. Damn. Oh. <laughs> root beer and cigarettes. <laughs> I just blew smoke rings. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't taken a sip yet. Definitely rock star mentality right here. Can like we eat this? <laughs> I love root beer too, but oh God, I, yes. I don't know about that, all that. It's root beer. You can't go wrong with root beer. Cannot go wrong with root beer. So I want to rate it the lowest it can be a one. I'm gonna give it like a four. <laughs> Zero? Because <laughs> there's like no nutritional value whatsoever. No, I'm gonna go with you a four. I'm gonna give it a four. A f I love Barks root beer but I don't like cigarettes. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna go right down the middle and say five, average out. John oh, Lennon. That, right? Is that who that is? I, I know who John Lennon is. <laughs> so. Also tragic death. His sunglasses are so in right now. <laughs> Co-founder and leader of the Beatles, John Lennon lived an incredible life creating music and art up until his untimely death by a deranged fan who shot him in front of his Manhattan apartment building. Oh, a sandwich. Oh, I'll it's a Reuben? On his way out of his New York recording studio, Lennon enjoyed a corned beef sandwich with the plan to have a larger meal once he got home. Oh, hell yeah. I've actually never had the sandwich before. This is another one that just doesn't come up. This is another one that I literally have to put down right now because I'm going to eat the whole thing. It seems very appropriate that he would have corned beef as somebody who's from England as like their last meal. Yeah, I took one bite out of it. I'm just like, I'm kind of over it already. I'm gonna rate this as a 10. I think he thoroughly enjoyed this sandwich. This is one of the best corned beef sandwiches I've ever had. I'll give it an eight, only because this is something that I wouldn't personally eat. Yeah, I don't even think I would order this though, so. I'd probably give this like a three. I went with a 10 out of 10 immediately. This is well, a 10 out of 10 that's for me the thing. It's, a, it's another 10, like, I'm sorry, a good corned beef sandwich is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. If anything, he deserved better as his last meal. Right. So I, I'm out of justice for him, I'm gonna say three as well. Oh, uh, James Dean. One of the actual hottest men that has ever existed. <sighs> Legendary actor James Dean was known as a cultural icon of teenage disillusionment and social estrangement with his emblematic roles in Rebel Without a Cause and East of Eden. Another accident. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> his last meal, a cold glass of milk and a slice of apple pie at Tip's Coffee Shop in Castaic. Just some apple pie and a glass this of milk? This is classic. I love pie. That's nice. That's very complimentary. If we had had the glass of milk with the Elvis Presley portion, I probably been... would have liked it more. It's kind of crazy too, like he just ordered pie, like he didn't want to order anything else. That's so weird. Sometimes a man just wants pie. <laughs> That's me right I'm now. I'm not hating on it. I mean, I love apple pies. Mm -hmm. That's some good apple pie. Do we get cool points for eating James Dean's last meal? Mm. This is such a baller last meal. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> he just threw some pomade in his hair, grabbed a t-shirt and a jacket. He's probably at the bar. You know, like wiping his face with his hand. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. This is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'm giving this my highest score. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give us a nine. Th this is- It's a 10. It's a 10. Yeah. yeah, this is a 10. I'll give this an eight. I'll give this an eight. Well, we've tallied up the scores and James Dean was your favorite celebrity last meal. Not surprised. No. <laughs> it was a great last meal. You never know when that last meal Meal's is going to be. be. Yeah. He's just like so badass that like he ate apple and uh, last no. milk. He's just like- There's enjoying. nothing more badass than a girl. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Did you enjoy this last meal challenge? Let us know and let us know what other challenges you want to see on People vs. Food. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and tell all of your friends. Bye!
Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Peace.